Magnesium is an important mineral needed by your body for various things. According to some research estimates, one third of the population might be low in magnesium. Today, I'm going to share with you top nine symptoms of magnesium deficiency and foods that you can eat to correct this deficiency. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshil Gupta. I'm a functional medicine expert. I help people reverse their chronic conditions by making personalized functional medicine plans. Magnesium is an important mineral which is needed for 300 processes that happens daily in your body. And according to research estimates, we all might be low in magnesium deficiency. The problem is that most of the conventional tests are not checking for magnesium levels. And that's the reason we often miss the deficiency of magnesium. So let's talk about symptoms of magnesium deficiency. So the first symptom of magnesium deficiency is feeling tired or fatigued or feeling weakness in your body. Magnesium is needed for your mitochondrial functioning, is also needed for energy production. So a lot of people who are feeling tired or fatigued might be because of low magnesium. The second symptom is muscle spasms or muscle pains or muscle cramping. Again, magnesium is needed for proper functioning of your muscles. And a lot of times, low magnesium is the primary reason of muscle pain or muscle cramps. The third symptom of magnesium deficiency is feeling anxious or depressed or if your mood is changing constantly. There is a very important reason for magnesium deficiency because magnesium is needed for production of your several of your hormones which controls your mood. The next symptom of magnesium deficiency is headaches or migraines. Several people suffer from headaches or migraines on the regular basis. They are taking several medications, but they are not helping. In reality, the reason is actually magnesium deficiency and supplementation with magnesium has shown in research that that can improve migraine headaches very easily. The next symptom of magnesium deficiency is hormonal imbalances, especially if you have Hashimoto's or low thyroid levels. Because again, magnesium is needed to produce all the thyroid hormones in the body. The next symptom of magnesium deficiency is that if you do have high blood pressure. Yes, magnesium is important for your cardiovascular health, especially maintaining blood pressure. And magnesium deficiency can lead to high blood pressure. The next symptom is if you have tingling or numbness or chronic body pain. Again, magnesium is needed for proper functioning of your nerves throughout your body. So if you're going through any sensation of tingling, numbness, or pain, that can be a sign of magnesium deficiency. The next symptom is poor bone health or bone pains. Magnesium is needed for deposition of calcium in your bones and also for bone health. So magnesium deficiency can lead to bone pain symptoms or osteoporosis also. The last symptom of magnesium deficiency is that if you're feeling that your heart is beating fast or irregularly. Again, as a shared that magnesium is important for cardiovascular health. And if your heart is beating irregularly, that can be because of magnesium deficiency. So you see, these are top nine symptoms and signs of magnesium deficiency. If you have any of those things, then easily can be because of low magnesium levels. Now, the next question a lot of people have is that, why is my magnesium low? I'm trying to eat healthy, then why is it low? So various reasons cause your magnesium to go low. The first reason is that our current soil is low in magnesium. There was a research study done recently which compared the soil levels of magnesium from 90s to now. And it was shown that our current soil where our plants, our vegetables, our fruits are growing, all of them are low in magnesium. So even though you might be eating the healthiest diet, but because of our food is low in magnesium, you might not be getting appropriate levels. The second thing is processing of food, especially when we are eating processed grains, then it causes the magnesium levels to go low. Any processing that is happening for your food, even adding pesticides and insecticides, those all things lower the magnesium content of your food. The next reason is that gut issues, because we are not able to absorb magnesium through our food because a lot of times our microbiome or bacteria in our gut is not appropriate. So that can cause low magnesium. If you have IBS, if you have SIBO, if you have gut issues like bloating or gas or diarrhea or constipation, 
that all affects the absorption of magnesium from your food. So that can cause low magnesium levels. Certain medications can cause low magnesium. A lot of people are on acid reflux or heartburn medications. And those can actually interfere with the absorption of your magnesium levels. Certain blood pressure medications can also cause your magnesium levels to go low. So you see, there are so many reasons that your magnesium can be low. Now let's talk about what can you do or how can you diagnose magnesium deficiency? So there are two ways of checking for magnesium levels. One is a blood test and one is a urine test. Both of these tests are not perfect tests because it has been shown in research is that even though these tests are normal, then also your cellular magnesium level can be low. And we don't have a perfect test to check for cellular magnesium levels. So most of the time you have to rely on symptoms only. So now let's say you have symptoms of magnesium deficiency. What can you do? So let's talk about foods which are high in magnesium that you can consume that will help to improve your magnesium levels. So magnesium rich foods. So the number one food which is high in magnesium levels is almonds. One ounce of almonds have around 80 milligrams of magnesium in it. So again, almonds are a great food. They have so many health benefits to it. So you can consume them on the regular basis. That will give you the magnesium. If you soak the almonds overnight, then actually the absorption of magnesium and other nutrients is better from almonds. The second food which is high in magnesium is spinach. Yes, half a cup of spinach can give you 78 milligrams of magnesium, which is again a good level. The third food which is high in magnesium is cashews. Again, one ounce of cashews can give you around 70 to 74 milligrams of magnesium on the daily basis. The next food, which is again great for your health, is cooked black beans. So for, especially for vegan and vegetarian people, you know, the black beans are great source of protein and great source of fiber. And now you can actually get your magnesium also from these black beans. So half a cup of black beans can give you 60 milligrams of magnesium on the daily basis. The next food which is high in magnesium is whole wheat. It is very important that you consume whole wheat and not regular wheat because the more processed the wheat is, the more covering of the wheat is removed, the more you lose magnesium. So the whole wheat without any processing you know, you can get up to 40 to 50 milligrams in one serving of this whole wheat. The next food, which is again high in magnesium, is avocados. Yes, avocados are a super food for me. They have all the good fats. They are high in fiber. They are good for your gut health. And now they can also provide you a good amount of magnesium. One cup of avocado has around 40 to 45 milligrams of magnesium in it. So again, you can use avocados in your salads. You know, you can use them guacamole dips. All of those different ways you can use avocados for. Next food is brown rice. Half a cup of cooked brown rice has around 40 to 45 milligrams of magnesium into it. Again, very important to eat brown rice and not white rice because white rice loses majority of its magnesium and is not a good source. So it's very important to eat only brown rice. The next food which is high in magnesium is oatmeal. You know, I prefer steel cut oats because again, the more processed the oats are, especially the rolled oats, they lose the magnesium in them. So around one serving of oatmeal can actually give you between 30 to 40 milligrams of magnesium. The last food which are again high in magnesium is kidney beans. Again, kidney beans are a great source of protein, great source of fiber. You can include them on the regular basis. Half a cup of kidney beans will give you around 30 to 40 milligrams of magnesium. So these are all superfoods which are high in magnesium that can easily help you to get your magnesium levels up. Now, as, you, as I said, some people might have issues with absorption of the magnesium. So for them, magnesium supplementation is the best way. I have made another video, especially uh, talking about all different kinds of magnesium supplements. The link is in the description. You can look it up. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you so much.